Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. What's the business, y'all? This is your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we are here to talk about the baby once again. Once again, we're talking about the baby. Now, you guys already know that yesterday, the baby went viral. He was all over the internet yesterday because of his comments that he made at the Rolling Loud um, concert, okay? He said some things about HIV and AIDS, some people that have it, and he said some things about homosexuality. And he's been dragged for it. And um, there's been plenty of people talking about canceling him and all of that other stuff. But not only has he had people drag him, but he did have a little support from certain people. And, and one of the people that showed him some big support was the current Bill Cosby imposter T.I. Okay, he showed him some support on his comments and basically defended him on what he had to say. Now... In the midst of him getting dragged all over social media and everything else, not just for that, but for bringing out Tory Lanez after him and uh, Megan Thee Stallion have now fallen out and things of that nature. And everybody was calling him shady for that, which he kind of was. You know, he goes and does this. Now, I've even had people that came in upon my video earlier today um, trying to defend the baby and trying to tell me that I was misleading people for saying that people that have HIV or AIDS aren't nasty. And, I'm, and they said they are nasty and I'm misleading people. I'm not misleading anyone. Just because someone has HIV does not make them nasty. Okay? Period. Just because a person got the flu don't make them nasty. Just because, like, it doesn't make you nasty. Okay? Like, I don't like that stigma. And I'm going to keep saying it until I'm blue in the face. I don't like that stigma. And people want to sit up here and play dumb and act like they don't know why um, people in the LGBT community got the, um, offended by what he said and they want to call everybody sensitive it's not about being sensitive it's about the ignorance of the matter that's what it is and if y'all want to play stupid about it be my guest but I'm not going to play stupid about this situation when I hear some ignorant ass shit I'm going to call it out and if you don't like it you ain't got to watch me and that's just that on that the baby ain't, ain't paying none of my bills he ain't doing shit for me so I'm going to call him out I personally don't have a problem with him well didn't have a problem with him I just thought he was corny and overrated that's what i felt about him so it is what it is but he says some ignorant shit and he wrote gay people into it and being that i am gay i had to address that now i'm not the type of gay person that takes every fucking thing personal when it comes down to what people people's opinions on lgbt i'm not that type of person but when it comes down to it, like I said, I got friends that um that deal that lives with HIV. I actually dated two people, maybe three, three people that have HIV. Not once did that ever matter to me. So at the end of the day, stop being ignorant and please do your research, okay? Because it's not only the fact that he said what he said, but then he turned around and said, My gay fans ain't got no nasty shit like that. My gay fans ain't got AIDS or HIV because they not nasty. You see, he's still perpetuating the dumb shit. You know what I mean? Like, if he was going to apologize, he could have kept that shit to himself. Because that apology that he gave yesterday wasn't about shit. But apparently he decided to speak up again or whatever in a couple of tweets and I got the tweets here that from the shade room you guys already know if you're new to my channel whenever I do a yes for the mess I always cite my sources and get my opinion and let y'all give y'all's down in the comment section so I'm gonna read these tweets from the shade room and not only that a woman that he currently worked with on a song also spoke up against him as well and I'm gonna read what she said however let's get into it. I tell fans to put a cell phone light in the air and y'all start a million man march I told y'all that y'all digested the, that wrong, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm impressed. Now show this same amount of support when a racist cop killed one of our black asses. You're not. It's the gaslighting for me. You really don't give a fuck about what you said, so what's the point of you even 
Anyway, anybody who have ever been affected by AIDS or HIV, y'all got the right to be upset. What I said was insensitive, even though I have no intentions on offending anybody, so my apologies. But the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all. Do y'all do you? Y'all business is y'all business. And for any brands, networks, or artists that like to profit off of black rappers' influence on the culture without understanding it and having the patience to deal with what comes with the position we play in our culture. Keep your money next time. Us niggas are humans too. Hashtag God bless. Other than that, y'all cheer the fuck up and be proud of who you are because you can't make me feel less of myself. Aside from that, um, is it how to glow? Texas and Corpus Christi, Texas. Get them tickets for Friday and Saturday so I can show y'all how how the fuck I get down, live show killer. So, I, so not only that, it was another. It was an artist that he worked with. I think she's a white girl that he worked with, and um, she made a story, an uh, Instagram story, and she posted, "I'm surprised and horrified at the baby's comments, and I really don't recognize this as the person I work with. I know my fans know where my heart lies, and that I stand 100% with the LGBTQ community. We need to come together and fight the stigma and the ignorance around HIV and AIDS." All right, so that was the tweets on the shade room from the baby and the artist that he worked with. Now here's what Scotty by Nature TV has. The baby is just stupid. He just stupid. And every time he opens up his mouth, he makes himself look even dumber. Okay? He doesn't really know when to shut the hell up. Basically, he just doesn't know. Does he have a publicist? Does he have a PR team? Because that apology that he that apolo apology that he gave was pretty much like, I mean, here damn here go your apology. Damn, I apologize. It's like you're really doing this just so everybody can shut the fuck up. You're not doing it because you sincerely feel bad about what you said. You're just doing it so you can shut everybody the fuck up. And that's that's not making matters any better for you at this point. Like you offended the LGBT community. They want, they're some of the same people that support you. Then you go out and you offend people that's living with AIDS or HIV and you don't know if that's one of your fans or not. Like you really have to sit back and think about what you're saying. I just feel as though people I mean, he's deflecting and gaslighting everybody pretty much because he knows that he he was wrong. But then you got select few people that want to sit up here and justify what he said and did and want to put it up as a freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of speech and all this other stuff. I love it when people try to make this a race thing when it comes down to the LGBT community talking about I want to see this same energy when um, a cop guns down a black man. You do see the same energy. We all sit up and we talk about it. We talk about about Brianna, we talked about Brianna, we talked about George, we talked about everybody all damn last year, okay? So let's not act like the same energy is not given for the people that are being killed, the black people that are being killed by cops. Let's not act like the energy is not given because it fucking is, okay? You only want to use that to make yourself feel better because that's what a lot of you motherfuckers do. Y'all want to bring it about black people after y'all offend the gays and shit like that. See, this is that's what y'all do. And I don't like it. And I ain't saying y'all. I'm talking about people like that. He's deflecting and gaslighting because he know that he was full of shit. That's all that is. So that all that Apollo line he doing, he can just have a seat with that because he know that that was fucked up for him to say that. Like, I ain't never really been no fan of his music at all. And, and that's just what it is. But I don't think that we should cancel him. I've never been the type of person that was just into the cancel culture altogether. I might just yell out, bitch, you're canceled. I probably said that. But I don't necessarily want nobody to lose their livelihood. I mean, he ain't never got none of my money. I ain't never bought none of his music. Never really streamed none of his damn music, to be honest. Unless it was with Megan Thee Stallion. I don't even know a uh, baby song, if you ask me. I only know a uh, Lil Baby song. And that's only one song. And that's that Own Me song. I don't know nothing else because I don't support these rappers like that but all in all you know I don't think he should be canceled but if you don't want to fuck with him he ain't got to and that's just what it is and if people do cancel him he only made it bad for himself I mean you sat up here you made these comments and then you sat up here and, I mean like come on now but the baby been a clown he punched a woman in the face. Wasn't he wanted for murder? He turned his back on his best friend for a nigga that shot her in the foot. And now he making, you know, making these disparaging remarks about people with HIV and AIDS and homosexuality. But that's what they do. And then when it comes down to homosexuality, it's always, it's freedom of speech. Everybody got the right to say what they want to say. Oh, the gays are so sensitive. It's not about us being sensitive. Because at the end of the day, if a non-black person says something about black people, 
people, y'all would be fucking offended. And y'all would not want nobody to say y'all being too sensitive. So, if a person comes out saying some bullshit that's making us feel away, why the fuck we got to be sensitive? Why, why can't it be, okay, he was wrong for saying it? See, but, you know, it's pick and chooses. You know what I mean? People pick and choose what they want to be offended by. And that's just what it is. Like, you know, we can we can get mad at Martha because she said something about Keisha and call her a nigga. But we can't get mad at the baby for saying some shit about homosexuality and then turn around and grow and rope up HIV and AIDS right along with it and make it into gay man's disease. We can't say nothing about that, though, because we too sensitive. You know? But to each his own child. I, I just love to see the people that's in the comment section really trying to defend the baby like he really said something right. He was fucked up for what he said and I, and I said what I said and I don't give a damn. A lot of y'all came in my comments today trying to come at me and I had time for some of y'all today. Okay? Because I've been saying I'm going to stay out the comment section. I ain't going to argue back and forth with people that ain't good for my channel to be going back and forth in the comment section because I don't want nobody to believe that they can't say what they want to say. But bitch, I had time today because y'all was being real stupid and ignorant. Okay? Stupid and ignorant at the same time. But you want to play stupid. Child, please. But anyway, with that being said, you guys, this is the episode of Yes for the Mess. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter and my Instagram will be in the description box. With that being said, you guys, your boy is out of here. Until my next video, I'll holler at you later. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.